Welcome. All right, now, more, more than likely, you're not going to be dealing with too many problems that are going to have decimals um, in there within final slope, but I wanted to go through at least a problem, just so you know, a lot of times when students see a problem that's not familiar with what they've been doing, they just get upset and kind of say, I'm not going to do this. So let's go ahead and take a look at you know, how I would determine the slope. First thing I need to do is determine uh, what is my x1 and my y, y1 and x2 and my y2. So therefore, I'm just going to label my points x and y, and then plot in x1, y1, x2, y2. And the reason why I do that, because our slope formula is the change in y over the change in x. All right. So to go ahead and do that, um, now I'm just going to plug in my points. So I have 5.8 minus 3.6 all over 7.25 minus uh, a negative 2.25. And notice how I put my negative 2.25 in parentheses. Um, that's just making me say that it's 7.25 minus, because remember, it's always the change in x minus, or, or x2 minus x1. So it's x2 minus x1. Um, so now I just go ahead and subtract across. And you can see 5.8 minus 3.6. That is going to be 2.2. And now you can see that's a double negative. I make that positive, so that'll be 9.50. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be your slope between these two coordinate points. Thanks.